Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to use the swipe view making your collection view for example more stylish using the swipe gesture to launch action like edit and delete. So, before that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification. Before uh, beginning, so I'm gonna show you something very uh, cool called Jizun Placeholder. So, Jizun Placeholder is a free fake API for testing and prototyping powered by Jizun Server and LoudDB. So, let's go to the different resources available here in this API. So, you're gonna get, you're gonna see we have post commands, photos, and users. So, we're gonna use this user. So, let's go ahead and see the data of uh, this Jizun user. So we have here the structure, we're gonna reproduce it in the C sharp. So let's go to our uh, Xamarin Forms uh, project and add new folder in which we're gonna create a new model called uh, user model. So let's make this uh, model um, public and we're gonna try to reproduce some properties here like uh, the ID type of long and the the name the username the email for example and I think the phone and the website so we are not um, obliged to reproduce all the JSON properties so after that we're gonna create uh, a folder called services in which we're gonna define the user service in order to get edit and delete um, users so here we're gonna create the interface of this service called i user service and let's make it public and let's implement this interface in the user service so let's begin by creating a new asynchron method called get users and return uh, a collection of a user model it will be enumerable of user model let's import the namespace and before that we need to define a private property called api url and it will be the URL to our uh, API, the base URL. And in order to call the API, like in the last videos, we, we're going to use HTTP client um, class. So let's uh, try catch here uh, block. And we're going to define the response is equal to um, a weight of client async get and user it will be um, the action name in the web api so we're gonna check here if the success state you code it's not true so we're gonna write the state you got in the console uh, which means we have a failed a request and return default else we're gonna return um, we're gonna read um, the content of the response as a string and converting through gzoom converter to um, i enumerable of user model great finally don't forget to inject your uh, service and the dependency and the ioc here in the container of dependency injection cool I think we have done here so let's move to the main page dot xaml so here we're gonna create a collection view inside the stake layout and bind it to um, the item source to a users list property we're gonna create it later and inside the item template we're gonna use something called the swipe view so the swipe view is a container control that wraps around an item of content and provides context menu item that are revealed by the swipe gesture so let's begin by defining the right swipe and the left one great so inside we're gonna use swipe item and let's define the text of our swipe it will be edit and 
did it, I think. So let's begin by edit. We're gonna bind the command of this swipe to um, edit command, for example, and the source here uh, it will be um, the name of our page. So let's say it will be user page, and let's go ahead to the page content and define the name. Cool. Now we need to pass um, the current selected item, so that's why we need to define the command parameter to binding to point, okay? Which means we're gonna pass the selected item object. And define the icon image source to edit.png and define some background color to uh, 09C. And let's duplicate the code to the left items and change the text to delete the command and the icon image source and the background color to red. Cool. Now, let's define um, the content of this item, what, what we're going to show to the user. So, it will be a grid of three columns and two rows. And simply we're gonna show some properties like um, the name um, let's make some style here like the font attribute making vertical text alignment and let's duplicate it here and change the binding to a username and the email here and i think we're gonna attach the the second label to agree that colon one and the second one third one is to the colon two great don't forget in the android uh, project to import your edit and delete um, images under a drawable folder so now let's move to the main page view model and we're gonna define um, the user list uh, bindable property uh, that we have already used in the XAML page. So it will be um, enumerable of uh, user model. And after that, we're going to define a private async uh, method called init data, in which we're going to use um, the, the user service. So that's why we need to inject it in the constructor here. And after that, um, I forgot to define the get user and the interface here. That's great. Let's import the namespace and let's return to the view model. Hello, and call this get users. So after that, we're gonna override the on navigate to, and inside it, we're gonna call init data with a weightable um, key. Make the method async. And no, we're gonna use, we're gonna define um, the edit and delete command. So let's declare here um, the two command, and inside the contractor we're gonna um, assign it to a new delegate command type of user model. And finally, we're gonna create the real method to call the service here. It will be edit and delete method so both of these methods um, take um, user model object okay and finally we're gonna uh, simply show a pop-up in real case we need to call um, the service but uh, in our api we can't we can't remove user because if anyone can remove it, so we don't find anything for prototyping or uh, demonstration purpose. Cool. Now let's show this two uh, alert here and let's run. So I think before that, let's swipe to the right and to the left and let's click. That doesn't work. And here is delete action. So I for I, we have a mistake here, I think. So here we need to, yes, it's a delete command in order to uh, make 
uh, to show the alert of delete. So before that, we need to, I think, to add a box view um, in order to make the separation between uh, two uh, items. And let's make it uh, black. So we need to add higher request here to 60. And finally, I think we're going to add um, a header of our collection here. Uh, so it's like in HTML, we can add uh, headers or our collection view. So we're going to define a grid with three columns here. And let's add three labels, name, and let's add some text, some styles here. And copy it and paste it in the uh, both of uh, others uh, labels. So one for the username and the last one is for email. And finally, we're gonna define the background color here to black and let's run and see. So we're gonna swipe to the right. And when I click, we have a delete and we're gonna swipe to the left. We have delete. So that's all uh, I want to show you today. Thank you and see you next tutorial.